In this video, I'm going to show you how to do email warm-up with Instantly AI. So this is the app, this is where you land. The first place you need to go is to the email accounts section. So you go into email accounts, it'll of course list out all of your email accounts. If you don't already have the email account set up, so maybe you're brand new to Instantly, you just need to go up here and click on add new. Click on add new and then you can basically just log into your email account. It's that simple. You click on the link, it'll take you to go log into your account. And if you would like it done for you, they will do done for you email setup as well. I think it starts from as little as $5. So if you just want someone to do it for you, they have that. Um, honestly, it's so straightforward. You just click on the link, log in as normal. So then to get on to the warm up part of it. So let's choose one of these emails here where I don't have it actively running. So I'll choose this email. So the first thing you need to do um, is enable the warm up for this. So it's as simple as just clicking that little toggle switch to turn it on. Then the next thing we need to do is go into settings. So I would make sure that you have these settings to so spend a bit of time in here getting it all set up nicely. Um, you want to make sure that you've got your sender name, everything looks good. I'd have a signature. I would also not have any links in your signature. Um, a lot of email accounts don't like links when they're hearing from someone the first time. So keep it nice and basic. The next thing you can do is you can add tags. So tags are useful for if you have multiple email accounts uh, that are all promoting one thing. Um, you can set up tags, you can group them together. It's as simple as just creating a new tag. Now, when we are thinking about campaign limits and we're warming up an email account in Instantly AI, I would keep the daily sending limit really low. So I like to start with just you know seven emails. And when I think about warm up, I think about keeping it human. If someone had just joined a company, they've just set up an email account, realistically, how many emails are they going to send on their first few days? The answer is not very many. So, so keep it low. Um, and then, you know, I also like to put the wait time quite high, you know, maybe 17 minutes or so. I don't want, you know, it to be every minute a new email is going out. Um, you can track the domain. So use custom tracking domain. This, you'll have to go and set up a C name record for it. So you go to your hosting provider and you need to set up this with them. If you click on need help here, they have a guide that will show you more about how to do this. It's very straightforward. It's not essential for warm up, but I would say it's something you want to tick off. The next thing you want uh, is to have a tag. So it'll have this default tag. Basically, what that means is every time Instantly AI is sending an email to itself effectively to warm up your email account, it puts that tag in the subject line and in the body of the email. Um, it just means that the software knows it's an email from itself, so it can automatically read it, it can open it, you know, and, and you know as well that that is an email. You can have custom tags. You might, you know, create an instantly tag. And then of course it knows um, to use that tag. So you can either use what's provided or create your own. Um, then you can have an increase per day. So suggested just to increase by one per day. Um, and then you have a daily warm up limit. So how many should you send out first? You know, so like I said, I'll start this at around sort of 17. Um, and then you also can go ahead and set the reply rate, right? So how often do people reply to this? Again, it sets it at around about 30. You know, I like to kind of mess around with this and maybe do it at 31, 33. Um, you know, I just don't like to use those round numbers. Often I feel like, you know, it's a little bit obvious. Um, you then have these advanced warm up settings. So you can have it to only send messages at weekdays. I would advise that you do that. Um, read emulation, right? So it doesn't just mark the email as read, it actually opens the email, scrolls through the email again to make it seem human so that it's being sent, being received by an actual human. Um, and then you can include your custom tracking domain, you know, to better improve the deliverability. That's what I spoke about 
setting up here. So that's not a must for when you first get going, but definitely get that done at some point. If you'd like me to do a separate video about that, then leave a comment down below. Also check out all the marketing tools down below. These are tools I use day in and day out. So I'm sure you will get value from those. And then you can have the open rate. So you could set your open rate, you know, however you want. You're going to go for 100 because you want them to be opened. Um, how many of your warm emails are same from the spam folder? Again, you want to you know, save the vast majority. You want to save them all. And then you can mark them as important, right? They should be marked as important. Um, so you go ahead. And then once you've set up everything there, you just press save. And then, oh, I left that empty. So here we go. Let's do this that way. And then we go ahead and press save. And now this email account has been updated. You can see the little fire symbol has gone from gray to green. And that means it is now warming up the email. Hope you enjoyed this guide. There are links down below to tools that I enjoy using. Make sure to subscribe if you found it useful. Hit the like button and stay tuned for more videos like this. <laughs>